Ted's done a number of things for the riding. Um, I think first of all, it's uh, the fact that he really understands the riding. Uh, Ted, having been a mayor, understands the issues of, uh, of a city, uh, but he gets to bring the whole context of the province uh, as, a, as a major senior partner. Um, so first of all, he brings incredible knowledge about just the workings of city, uh, which is very valuable when he is representing our case, whether that is on a poverty issue, an economic issue, uh, the fact that we've created an innovation factory here now, which is part of the Ontario Networks of Excellence. Uh, he brings that kind of knowledge, but the very specifics of a Hamilton into the, the conversation in, in, in the province. And it's, it certainly works because we know uh, that we get the funding, we know we get the support, and uh, we now have an innovation factory. We now have um, a lot of work that has happened at the province level that has supported us here on our poverty project as well. Uh, most recently, um, I worked on a very, uh, I think a very special opportunity in Dundas uh, where the arts community came together to help fund and support um, all the, uh, the, the, the museum, the Carnegie Gallery, Dundas Valley School of Art. I was on that campaign cabinet, still remain on that campaign cabinet, and we approached all three levels of government to support, um, uh, I think, a wonderful initiative to uh, both uh, modify uh, and then ultimately maintain those three buildings in our, in our uh, Dundas community, part of Hamilton. And uh, we needed the support of all three levels of government, and we got it. And we got it, uh, uh, and I know it was in difficult times, but I think, again, Ted brings a, a true understanding of the value of culture, the value of art, the value of teaching the children uh, in the Dallas Del Del Valley School of Art, uh, the value of art, and the creative minds. Um, and he, he helped bring that money into, into Dundas uh, uh, and uh, support, uh, I think, a very, very valuable cause. So what Ted has brought to uh, the, uh, the region, very simply, he's brought money where it's required, an investment uh, from the, where the province is appropriate to be that investor. Uh, he brings our message to, uh, uh, to uh, Queen's Park uh, with a very knowledgeable mind, experienced mind. He's got significant experience over many, many years about the workings of our city. He's got his ear very, very close to the ground. He speaks to people, he meets people, uh, so he understands the multitude of issues, but it also helps characterize it in a very unique Hamilton way. So I, I, I have to say, again, I've known Ted for a long time, so I guess I'm biased because I consider Ted to be, a, a, in a sense, a, a colleague, a friend, uh, a mentor, um, and just someone I, I truly respect. I, I think, um, as an individual, and it, it again, it speaks to, uh, I think, why he's been successful with almost anything he's taken on in his life. Uh, he comes with a social, a social science background, which really is, he understands people, he understands the issues of people, uh, but he also brings a very strong uh, business mind uh, from a uh, running of, of uh, communities, and so he's able to look at complex issues, so he's, he's a smart guy. Um, but I think that really what is a highlight of individuals like Ted and why he has been successful, I don't think anyone would ever question Ted's integrity. His integrity is uh, impeccable. Uh, I think what he says, he does, and uh, he is uh, someone that uh, can be counted on. He is not one to tell you he can do something if he can't. Uh, he can be very clear and succinct, and he's very transparent. So uh, he's just a very easy individual to work with because he's uh, not trying to pull wool over your eyes. He speaks, just very, he speaks very clear, plain English.